Hello. Sorry, I couldn't be there today, uh, but I'm going to present via the magic of the internet. My name is Andrew. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm a package manager researcher. Uh, I've been working with the IPFS uh, team for a few months, specifically on working out how IPFS can help with making package management better. Today, I'm going to talk about decentralized package management using IPFS. And this is a hard problem. There are a number of difficult parts involved in doing decentralized package management. Today, I'm going to talk about decentralized dependency resolution. This basically uh, stems from some research that I did into looking at how the challenges involved in decentralized publishing, which, uh, to cut a long story short, shakes out as when publishing a package in a decentralized system, you need to be publishing all of the dependencies of that package alongside it. This means you'll be wrapping up everything uh, and publishing it all at once, which avoids availability issues from other registries disappearing, being deleted, or potentially even just appear going offline uh, that you would need to be able to resolve your dependencies whilst installing. This is nicely wrapped up in the idea of a micro registry, a little bundle of all of the dependencies and the dependency metadata that you'd need to be able to, uh, to just install a single package. And you can make many of these and publish them straight to IPFS and uh, actually take control of you, how you work with packages rather than relying on a centralized registry. I've made a handy little command line tool that makes this really easy. This one works for NPM, but it should work uh, in a similar fashion for other package managers too. So let's check it out. I've got a uh, package here in my current directory and it's got some dependencies and I can publish this uh, directly to IPFS using my publish command. What this is doing is resolving the transitive dependency tree of that library, and then it adds it to IPFS as a single directory, which you can then view on the gateway. You can see here, we have uh, the package we just published, its metadata and all of its dependencies. Let's bump that version and release a new uh, version of this same library, 1.5. Again, we resolve all the transitive dependencies and this outputs a new uh, registry. But what if we wanted to do the add the previous registry? What if we wanted to add the new package to the previous registry? Well, we can pass the previous registry CID. That basically errors out because something has gone horribly wrong. Let's just try that once more. Great, there we go. We can check that out on the gateway. And as you can see, we've got two different versions of the same package in uh, a single registry with all of the dependencies for both of them. Let's keep going. We can also publish something directly from the NPM registry. Let's publish React. So that's published uh, the latest version of React, which is 16.8.6. .6. We can just copy and paste that, run that, and we have just installed React straight from IPFS, completely self-service. We can also publish older versions of React, maybe React 15. There we go. Just install that from there. And you've got a previous version. The cool thing that you can do then is actually merge those two registries we created together to create a single registry that contains both of those versions. Let's check that out on the gateway and see what it looks like. There we go. We have two different versions of React with all the dependencies to be able to install those together. And this is composable. So you're able to just keep composing different micro registries together, creating new registries as you go. And 
being able to uh, successfully resolve those dependencies over IPFS without any centralized registry required. Of course, it's on GitHub. You can check it out uh, and let me know how you get on with it. Have fun at camp. Thanks very much.